Tonight, family, friends, and co-workers gathered to honor the life of Dr. Gary Swank. The Roanoke man was murdered in Belize last week while on a fishing expedition. Local authorities say they believe his guide was the target and Swank was, quote, collateral damage. Ted News reporter Shane Dwyer is here now with the special tribute. You were there outside the funeral tonight. I know you've watched the online feed as well, Shane. John and Bernie, well, so many people from the Carillion Clinic family were there for Dr. Swank's funeral. He was a beloved member of the hospital there and everyone there that just says that they felt so much connection to him with everything that he did. Today in Belize, the prime suspect in this double murder, however, was released by police. According to local media, that man professes his innocence. And here locally, that's not getting in the way of remembering Dr. Swank's legacy. Lifeguard 10 flew low and slow Tuesday night over St. John Lutheran Church in Roanoke County. Hundreds of people gathered in front of the church to watch the tribute for a man who did so much for the community. Prior to that, inside the church, they celebrated the life of Dr. Gary Swank, an innocent victim of alleged gang violence in Belize. Family members and co-workers shared stories of Swank and promised to keep his legacy alive. Some people in attendance didn't know Swank, but like Senator John Edwards, came because of all the good things they heard about him. Well, he's so well thought of. He's such a fine person. He's a real gentleman and, a, and has given back to the community so much. Just his ministry of being a doctor, he, he's just been a wonderful person. And I did not know him, but I learned so many wonderful things about him. And I'm so sorry for his family. Swank was with his fishing guide in a local lagoon in Belize when it all happened. In his obituary, Gary was quoted as saying, you've got one round, make it good. And they say that's how he lived his life. I had asked, asked Senator Edwards if anything is being done at the state level to help with this investigation in Belize. He says that this is something that the federal authorities are handling, and he is hopeful the investigation will bring justice. In the studio, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.